What a day. And uh, tomorrow, all your finals action. So follow along the Bindle Sharks All Blacks page, Carnival page, uh, for all your updates for tomorrow's matches as they go up. But we're about to get underway with our last game of the day. And uh, Black Brim taking on Azzy Memorial. No, this will be the first time seeing uh, both of these sides. They've played their footy on field two. And uh, Azzy Memorial wasting no time, charging in off the back fence with that carry. Well, it's good conditions for both of these teams at the moment. The uh, temperature's down. Got his, nearly got his own kick back there. Short kick. Always put the commentator's curse on him. Uh, so we've got Azzy Memorial on our left of screen here, and uh, Black Brim will be on the right of screen there. I do know that, and I'm just uh, locating some team lists uh, for you as we speak. Doing our best to locate some team lists for you, folks. Um, and bring you a lot of action. We'll do our best here as uh, Black Rim work off their own line. And that's uh, young Blake Heitman at the back at fullback. He's uh, the best back in the RLTD. Buys his trade for the Towers Miners, what a season they had. Another bomb. Testing in. Um, drag down. He'll be 30 metres out from his own line. Oh, and that's strong contact. Well, whoever decided that outside backs have got to do work through there must have uh, had a death wish, I reckon. Sometimes it's a pretty uh, daunting place for an outside back to go, hunting in the middle. and Picked up and driven like a wheelie down. It's all right when they want to come straight at you. When they use their footwork, it can be a bit of a worry, but here we go now. Here we go, another ball. That's the high one. And well, well take taken. There, Got off the ground as well. Now it'll be Heitman at fullback. He'll be at dummy half here. Another slow play the ball. And they've earned a penalty there from referee Robert Woods. Uh, seen enough. Oh, it's close. And 
and another penalty there. It's not quite been able to get themselves back onside. A bit of speed of the ruck at the moment for Blackbrim. And a lovely little bit of footy there. I thought it was a lovely kill, but Cutty's got me. Well, they're uh, right on it this afternoon. The touchies, I guess after what we saw in the grand final, it's probably been a high priority for our uh, match officials to keep an eye on the board passes. Yeah, semi-final, mate. Semi-final against the bars. That's what I'm thinking about. Yeah, is it on Memorial? Pretty willing these opening exchanges. Last two games have been a big arm wrestle through the middle. Yeah, they haven't missed a. Eh? It uh, might not have been too expansive in their footy, but the physical side of it's been right up there. As you said, it's all about getting through the car. These, these tough, heavy games, they do take it out of the legs later, later, in, the, later in the carnival. The watch finds his way, 12 metres away from that roll. They go right. The roll skips to the centre, who beats two. Back on the inside, and they change again. That's Jesus, a bit of fleet footwork over there on the right hand edge. Uh, couldn't escape, and they go back down the right-hand side. No, he's pulled their pants down there. There was nothing doing. There was nothing on. And uh, they've slipped down the short side to get first the first four points. Was, it's the same side they ventured down... Uh, previously and uh, was a forward pass this time he just picked it up and dummy up and said well i'll go over here myself you won't take this off me well so let's take the pass out of it and i'll go alone <laughs> one of the black room boys uh Trace their tyres back out, two charts to ours. And uh, Palm Oil. Yeah, an opportunity to add the two. Well, that wind's died right down here now. Lovely, lovely day She is one of the more picturesque grounds, isn't it, the Sports Reserve? This time of year, they do a really good job bringing it up. And it has been a treat, and tomorrow is going to be is set to be a huge day of action. Is it on now? Is it on Memorial? Look to get us back underway. Start to take hold here, and we'll be under lights tomorrow night. Grand final time at about this time. Pretty cool, actually, for a uh, Townsville. What are we, spring? And away 
No. Flag up from the touchy. So tomorrow at 8 o'clock, we uh, commence our finals day. So all knockout action from tomorrow. And uh, we'll start with our lower tier matchup. So uh, ninth playing 16th and 10th playing 15th on fields one and two. So there'll be two matches there in the uh, runners-up pool. And then we will have our quarterfinals. So follow along the Bindle Sharks All Blacks page. All Blacks Carnival page, and they will have all the details coming up tonight. Once uh, these final matches, oh, no dummy half. Knock on. The first knock on, I think, will be Black Rim there. And it is. So just reaching in, they uh, both met each other at about the same time. Right on halfway, center field, this scrum goes down. Away now to the right. Oh, geez, just uh, kind of, they weren't quite on the same wavelength there, the boys. And as the siren sounds, it'll be the first half in the books, I think, for... Uh, our last game on field two. Jim and Melba Daisy taking on Warabinda. goes up and I don't know if that's in celebration or uh, saying yep better grab somebody for me boys but uh, the breakaway try and uh, Black Brim now out to an eight point lead with 12 minutes remaining They went a little bit of a storm and then they've come back out the other way, so they'll be pretty happy with themselves there, Black Rim. They're just stuck at it defensively, stuck to their task and conversion successful. Just looking to uh, try and get there. Attack to click here, as in Memorial. And away we go, deep. Plenty of defenders in that tackle. 
Out to the right. They come back at the posts here. Two metres out, as your memorial. And he just says it's a knock on. Just uh, haven't been able to build their attack here, as you memorial. And they get the opportunity, it's just gone begging a few times. Yeah, yeah. 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 Down, down the it's early in those tackle counts as they're uh, looking, running through their setup plays. Just a, a little error too, and unforced ones as well in the ruck. Just concentration errors. Never over. Chance, as you've seen, they will chance their arm. Um, well, Blake Heitman now, he's away. Ah, oh, Heitman. He's an excitement machine. Big part of the Charter Towers minor success this year, Blake Heitman. Oh, here we go. And more points there for the Black Rim boys off the back of the Heitman line break. It's uh, a lot of where their lineage sort of comes from through there. Uh, there are a few miners boys floating around. Great season for the Charter Towers miners this year. Second on the table. On the up and up, you reckon? On the up and up, they've got a young squad. Uh, certainly, they had their opportunities in the uh, semi final there uh, against Brothers. But, uh, and then. Again, they got to, to back up. It was an injury to Adam Shaw, Stalwart. Uh, it really uh, put paid to them that final series, but it was just great to see the Miners second in the competition, the Townsville competition, mate. So it's, uh, geez, anybody could have won it. Here we are now with uh, Black Rim. I'm glad I haven't blown the wheels off it here, but they've taken opportunity when it's come. And defensively, they've been up to the task, so they'll be happy with that. And that's probably for the coaching staff of the Black Rim. That's where they'll be more interested in is uh, the work they're doing off the ball. Conversion successful. Another big day coming up tomorrow. When it gets down to the nitty gritty, the knockout rounds. That's it. Winners go on. And for the losers, that's the end of their carnival. When you start to see them, the intensity goes up a little bit. Today's been intense, but when the, when the knockout rounds come into it, you're pretty much fighting for your livelihood today. Yeah, Black Rim. They hear there our ladies grand finals set already for 3 p.m. tomorrow. Eastern Warriors taking on Burdekin Delta Dolphins. Fins up or up the wild. That's the two choices tomorrow. Today, wait for tomorrow. Massive day in the, the mix, and Eastern Warriors bring plenty of support, but the Burdekin too, always well supported. These are a great effort by the Burdekin Delta Dolphins. The phone calls were made, letting them know that the girls are in it. Again, it'll be a traveling, traveling wagon up from, up from the Burdekin. 
inside ball there. Mia just looking to work through the ruck here as he memorial. But black rim, solid defence. They come down the right hand edge. Can't find anything that way. And look to go to the left. And he's up to that round. and around and here we go again. Well, I'll probably be getting the message out that we need to be kicking away from that side. He scored two already, that fella. I'd be going well away. He's going well away. Back through the middle now. That's outside the 40. Slow play the ball. Yeah, it seems that it's like a real. It's of half time now as the lights have almost completely taken over. As the sun starts to set over Magnetic Island and you can see that from here. Big visit. Great view. Castle Hill in the background. Push that one just left. As in Memorial now, work their way back up. So Black Rim will have. Uh, the 
probably won't show up because of the is where you can get to it. We're going to fight this up on the big one, so we want one more after going today. And the siren guys in the background, they were quite happy to allow the siren to go. And uh, one half of footy left in day two action.
way. Second half action of our last matchup. So it's uh, Black Brim now on the left of screen, and now it's a line break. So they've wasted no time, and they're away here. Black Brim. So they've wasted no time, and in the uh, first minute, they had another four points to their account. This is the uh, pool round, so the last matches of our pool rounds now winding down. victory it looks coming up here for the black room but plenty of time left in this in this half if uh as memorial can get a hold of some footy Successful conversion. And uh, as even more you now, bring the ball back to uh, get us started here. Goes high, secured there. Black room now, they look to work off their own line. Another offload here. Well, the second phase play starting to take a hold here from Black Brim. Strong carry. Good meters now. They go out to the left. Plenty of numbers set to the right now. Slips inside of a defender. Drag down, he'd be 15 metres out. Double dog, drag down five metres out. And uh, whoop, referee Rob Woods pulls it up. Bit of concern here for the back row from Azzy Memorial. And uh, I've got another player at the back as well. Concern here, young man down in front of the posts. The trainers just take their time assessing him, mate. Help to his feet, so that's fantastic to see. He's able to get to his feet under his own steam. And uh, he'll come to the side of the field there, assisted by the trainers. There will be still a black rim on the attack here. The play back inside doesn't go, but now we're away and uh, just bringing it back for the knock on there. So, uh, well, there's been a uh, small knock on both ways there, brought back. Thank you. 
but it'll be Azzy Memorial with the feed. No, it won't be. The knock-on was from Azzy Memorial. There, apologies on that one. And uh, when they've gone to scoop it up, it's found a little knock-on, and it'll be Black Rim back on the attack. Brought down 10 metres out on the right-hand side of the field. Now they work back to the posts. And, uh, metres after contact, so now only be about five metres short. Just adjacent to the right-hand upright. Numbers to the left and just fired that one in. Well, that was like a rocket fired into him. As uh, Heitman comes to the sideline here. And go astray in the uh, Black Hawk system, young Blake Heitman. Spent a bit of time in there last year, Blake. And now, as in Memorial. Working out of their own half. It's a familiar place they've been in in this matchup so far. They've had to do it all the hard way. And the lights fully take control here now. Dinko over the top, picked up. Here we go now. Azzy Memorial away. Plenty of support coming as well. Shows inside and then it goes away from the support. Taken down now, Black Rim. Uh, the Black Rooms turn to work off their own line. 16 minutes remaining in this one. 16 minutes remaining in our full rounds. Finals action for you tomorrow from 8 a.m. here at the Sports Reserve. Kicking out of their own end. It's low and driven. And it, uh, I think we've got a 40-20 there. No, the kick was outside. So Addy Memorial, once again, worked out of their own half. Yeah, kicking from inside their half. Plenty of chases here.
And uh, more points coming for Black Brim. Plenty of breathing room for him now, and uh, the carnival just taking its toll here. And, uh, trainers remonstrating with the referee. And he's uh, been removed. Tensions are uh, just boiling over here. time off so there'll be 12 minutes remaining here and uh, just uh, battered and bruised the Aussie Memorial boys they're fighting it out Braves an understatement here for the Aussie Memorial side because he's got a lot of walking wounded at the moment. And conversion successful. So we'll have 11 minutes remaining here. 